Hey guys, Snake Eyes six 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 thirteen here. Um, we're going to be say, uh, changing over Salem's uh, cage tomorrow because it's hard to feed and clean him in. We're going to be changing him over to an Exoterra. So I'm moving it about to make more room for an Exoterra, and I thought, why don't I show you one that's easy to move and easy to show? So I've uh, got uh, Freya. Freya's still in here. Doesn't disrupt her when she moves. I've brought her Exoterra over close to the camera so I can show you guys. I was going to do this on my phone, but my cable has vanished. I think someone's jacked it or something. But um. Yeah, uh, let's get this started. As you can see, it's a glass terrarium or vivarium, depending on how you decide to build it. Well, it's all your preference on how you decide to design and build it anyway, but they can both support a terrarium, which is a quite artificial build, or a vivarium, which is a living build. They're very good for uh, sustaining life to both. They're uh, quite good at keeping hydrometry. Uh, sometimes you need to cover the top, but um, they are quite decent at keeping hydrometry. Uh, they can fit all sorts of life in here, and because of the deep base before the door, you can even fill most of it up with water if you're looking for fish even, or more sort of water-dwelling amphibians, depending on the size. But that's what they're kind of best at. They're good for supporting desert, wet, any terrarium, I'd say go for an exoterra. Uh, as you can see, going a little bit on the inside, they have a, a lock here, which is... Try and move it so you don't get the camera in, which is this. Now, these two glass doors are supported by a small plastic lock, which is inside the vent. Now, this lock is plastics. As I said, some people don't like it. You can opt for a lock that goes through the two doors on the outside. Uh, I don't see why you'd need to, because this, nothing can get out of that, unless you've broken it. Um, you click it down. It can be a bit scary the first time you uh, buy one. You think you've broken it. I know. And uh, they, they can open quite well. And um, you've got optimum position to pick up, handle, do whatever you want to any animal. Something a bit wrong. And um, it's also a good option if you've got an aggressive animal to keep one side locked so you can only have access to a certain uh, area. Now, I've already mentioned the vent, but talking about it uh, in a different manner. Uh, if you can't get enough air in from the top, uh, they've got quite a good, quite a high tech and sophisticated series of vents which when air blows into it, it takes the air up, hits the top and moves around so it circulates. And if it can't do that from the front, it will do that from the sides, the top, whatever. It can circulate air quite well, which is why these are very good for desert terrariums and whatever type of terrarium you want. Um, I've already said about the high substrate base, these things are perfect for supporting water. And underneath there is a small gap where you can put heating mats and things like that. And if you want a heating mat inside, behind the mesh top, there is two grooves so you can put wires in and out without making enough space for an animal or any feeder animals to get out. Uh, most of them come with a background which is uh, made out of foam, uh, polystyrene sorry, um, and it's got two grooves down the back which follow up with the two uh, slots at the top so you can put it under so your animal won't even be able to notice that it's uh, not real. Um, as for the Viv itself, this is a 30 by 30 by 30 which is good for any Chilean rose species of tarantula, maybe a desert blondie depending on the size. Um, as I said, it's quite good. Um, this is Freya. Freya's still in here. She's down here. And uh, she absolutely loves it. This is a paradise for her because of the size of it. She's got this big tree that supports her weight that she can walk on. Uh, she's munched a few locusts on here, as I've just found one. I'll be removing that in a second. But, um, yeah, it's just generally as a vivarium, it's a very good thing to open, to close, and they can web on it, and the back is perfect for them to climb on. Similar to a rock face. If you are... Uh, Sorry for the speed of this. If you want to um, sort of access a dangerous animal, maybe not even a dangerous animal, maybe you just don't, don't want to disturb one if they're sitting on the glass, you can remove the top. Which is, uh, I think it's quite a handy feature. It's brilliant because you can move things about without disturbing the animal. But why I have the top here, these are the slots. The, yeah, these are the... Sorry, these are the slots that you can fit things through. Now, I would probably choose to have these open because she doesn't need a lot. And as you can see, it's separated by two sides. Now, these are built for the lights. Exoterra do their own canopy lights, as they call them. Uh, they're quite good. Um, I would advise putting only Exoterra bulbs in them, though. Uh, if you put another bulb in it, they're liable to melt. As again, something I found out for myself with Magnus's uh, canopy top, I put two. Uh, lucky reptile bulbs in. I'm not saying that the bulbs are bad, the bulbs are perfect, but because of the, because of the, uh, how they, uh, what's the word, how they distribute their heat is a main key, because a bulb can distribute 
ball out and in a sort of radiating manner, it can melt anything on the outside and the covering of it. Just like the um, thermal protection on the bottom of the car to protect the exhaust from the engine or the internal combustion chamber or the fuel tank. Getting a bit technical, sorry. Um, <laughs> talking about what's inside uh, Freya's Viv, if you're looking to get a chili, there's an Exoterra um, fern, which is quite cool. Holds her up perfectly. There is a bowl, which is just an Exoterra bowl. They're quite good, but sometimes they need extra cleaning. You get a spider and you've got a deep bowl. Put a couple of pebbles in it. Um, would advise for any teas, which is any uh, non-true spider or tarantula. Um, I would advise giving pure proper water. Uh, some of them can't access the bug gel or the sponge with the water on it. This is a very sort of. It, it, people don't agree. People agree, and it ends up with an animal coming to harm. But. I would just go with the water just to be safe because in the wild they drink water, they have no problem with just drinking water and if they can't handle bug gel or a sponge water then it's not your fault if the animal does dehydrate and as anyone who knows spiders knows, spiders dehydrate quite quickly. Um, I've just got a lug in here, but I've just got a lug in here and I've got some spider life substrate. Um, if anyone wants to know how much this cost, altogether this was probably about 60 quid, which is not bad. Um, Another thing is their lights. Perfect for moving an animal. I mean, Frey is not disturbed. And they're easy to manoeuvre because of the pads on the bottom. So you're not going to disturb your animal. As I say, Freya is uh, in here. He doesn't care. She's She's been moved a little bit around today. And, uh... As I said, Freya's here. Freya doesn't care. Freya's uh, just showing you a bum with a lovely love heart on it. Now, oh uh, yeah, she's a bit skittish because I've just disturbed her, but it's nothing about. Oh, almost fell off. Then you silly Billy. <sighs> this plays up sometimes on camera. Sorry about this, but uh, yeah, Freya doesn't really um, care about uh, this, and because she's quite, uh, she's not skittish, but she's quite. Uh, uh, a scaredy cat spider, and uh, this moving her about doesn't bother her. Another good thing that I want to mention is if you get spider life substrate, any living animal that you put in there can feed off the sub. Which is, if you put a feeder cockroach in there and you lose it, it will continue to eat off the sub so it shouldn't bother your animal. And it is perfect for spiders, apart from desert spiders of course. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick review. I will be doing a setup video tomorrow if uh, I can get to where I need to get to to get Salem's Viv, of course. Where I am, they've been predicting snow for absolutely ages. And if it does end up snowing, I will not be able to get there. Now, I would love for you to see Freya in what I call her natural habitat. Now, I'm going to block it off again. This usually ends up in uh, some negativity. But if you can, can you see that? No, you can't see that. Yeah, never, never mind. Um, as I say, if you're going to get a good uh, terrarium for your animal, go with Exoterra. They're impressive terrariums that you can uh, stack on top of each other. And they're just extremely easy and extremely portable. Freya loves it. And uh, if you want to make it look smart and professional, you can even put name tags on them that are removable. Uh, I'm going to put it back now. And I'll show you her name tag. And you'll probably see them to her as well. There is the name tag, Eleutherus SP Red. Ah, chili and flame triumph for that. Now, as you can see, I'm moving this with no trouble. And um, because it's actually a habitat, things like moving it doesn't bother her in the slightest. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while. I'm still trying to get Thor to eat in his um, cage without needing to be taken out but he seems to be reluctant to strike so the videos would be just boring of him slowly going up to a mouse and eating it and it'd take me ages to film it uh there will be a video tomorrow hopefully if i can get there as i said i'll be getting salem and ecto terror uh, set up in a small setup and i'll actually be moving him if i can get someone to film that on camera that'd be excellent if i can't i'm not going to risk my safety and the safety of everyone else simply because because if you get what i mean
Anyway, thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. A lot of people have been saying that Salem's going to eat me when I move in. Uh, if I do get tagged, I'll document that for you guys. That's not for anyone to laugh at my pain. That is just to show what a severe spider can do. And uh, let's just hope it doesn't call a pulmonary edema. If anyone doesn't know what that is, that's a hemorrhage in the lung. Sorry. Um, anyway, guys, as I say, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you want your video, if you want our videos posted directly to your Facebook page, type in Snake Studios on uh, Facebook and it'll come up with a Facebook group, put in a message and I personally or some other people who uh, help me out here will accept you in straight away. We don't have any qu queries, uh, anything I have to say, if you can ask us any questions, like a few that have been coming through, uh, please try and ask in English or a European language that I can easily translate. Um, if you're asking in Sanskrit, Arabic or Chinese, it might take me a while to reply so I can translate it. Not a racist thing, it's just I'm not bilingual. As people can say. I've got a few um, messages through from people in uh, different languages and hopefully my replies were good and hopefully I understood what you were saying. If I haven't, I'm sorry. Again, it's a language barrier and I'm not trying to offend anyone. Anyway guys, it's been Snake Art 666. Goodbye.